Welcome back. In the previous video, we created the endpoint to create book. So this book route. So we are going to make another endpoint to fetch all books. So it will be the same process as the um, fetching uses. So let's get started. So let me call this one. I can even copy all of them. So let me copy all of them here. And from the previous video that I did, it's the same principle here. Let me copy it and then let me paste it here. So here, instead of um, creating, you will say what? Find. Okay. Find here. And then pass in the object. Okay. And then let me remove this one from here. I'm creating it. And if books, then I will send back the book. Otherwise, um, let me say, if there is no, I will say that um, there are no books. Okay. So with this line of code, so let me change this one to get because it's get as that. So let me head over to Postman and then make that request. So let me copy this, duplicate it, and then make this one as what? Fetch. And then let me save, change it to this, and then save it, make send, and I have it, boom. I only have one book. I can create more books here. Let me change this one to programming to here, two, and then value two. Then save it, fetch it, and you see we have two books. Save it. Okay. So as simple as that as we um as we create fetch books. So the same way um you can even update book. It's also the same way of what creating the user bar. So if you follow my um, tutorials on the how to update users endpoint, it will be the same principle here. Okay. So for all books, we want it to be public. Okay. But for update, we need to what login. All right. So for um books um route. Let's work on the update part. We want to update the book and delete. Okay, so let's work, let's work on the update rather. So the update, I need the ID of the book. Okay, so when you're fetching the book, you may need the passing the ID of the book and then um, we fetch that book by the ID and then update it accordingly. Okay, so let's start. So inside my books route, okay, so I will say book route, book router dot put and the, the difference is the ID, semicolon, the ID, who is a um, param. And let me pass in my express async handler here and here I'll mark my request as an async here and rest the response and then boom, they're good to go. So here, we're going to find the book by ID, right? By the ID. So look at the route I pass in here. The ID, it means that this dynamic I mean, express make it easier to access the value of this um, uh, here under request.params.id. When here is, for example, me, it will be request.params.me. And normally we will make use of ID here. So here you are going to fetch the user by the ID, and this ID can be accessible as rec.parent.id. So I will show you that. So here, let me try to console log. Let me send that rest.send. Okay, and then let me send um let me send the um rec.params.id. Okay, so here it may have to pass me the ID when I'm making the request. So let me head over to this one, my postman, and change this one to say update and then it's put here. Let me save it here. Okay. So when I hit enter, <coughs> as you can see, there is no route for that. When I pass in a dynamic ID, something like this one, and say send, as you can see, I grab the value here. So I can pass whatever here and I grab it. So I can take the ID from this um, params and make request to mongoose and fetch that user. All right. So here, instead of just dumping it inside like that, you will say that um, 
I will say let me make it a const and say book is equal to await and then book model dot find by id and that id is under request dot params dot id remember so if there is something of that sort i will say that if there is book okay then i will say <clears throat> um i will say const um updated book is equal to await okay and on the book model we have what is called find by id and update and the first parameter is the id of the um, book i can even ignore this one and just make it of cons here and find the book by id and update but i want to make some conditional here that's why i make i fetch the user and make sure there's a book before i update it here so it needs an id right so which is rec dot params dot id and the second parameter is what you want to update and i want to update all of all the body so rec dot body which involves the title category whatever and the last piece of the cake you have to pass in as what a third argument with an object and say new set to true which means that when you don't provide new to true, it means that you don't get updated um, data. Okay, when you provide to new, it means I want to return the current data when it's updated back to the user. That's why I provide this thing. And the next one is run validators, which means that you have to check also the validation part, for example, is required, also set to true. All right, so if there's something of that sort, then I will send back rest dot status, which is everything is okay, 200. And then I will say rest dot JSON. And then I will send back the book. Okay. Sorry, the updated book. Updated book here. Um, else here. Else I will say um, rest dot status, which is 500. And then I will say, um, throw a new, throw new error, and I'll pass in say, update fail. Okay, this error will be accessible inside our, our front end. Okay, so let's try. So I have the book. What do I need to update the book? I can pass in all the category part. So here, for book, let me pass in the. Um, anybody can update the book facet now, so let me pass in the body here and then um, let me say raw and then change to chasing part and then let me say the book title. The requirement for this one is the ID of the book. So when, when I fetch the book, this one, the first part which is programming, I'll grab this ID because I need this ID to update the book. So let me come back to update here and change this ID. To this ID for mongoose and change remember the ID that the category is programming right so I can change the category here and category here as um, religion all right so let me send as you can see that change to religion when I change it back change the title to let's say the title will be prayers as you can see i'll have prayers as well but i want this one to be protected only login user can update um this book so i just provide in my off middleware here a second parameter to my request handler here as that save it go back to postman and then send Nothing regarding provide in the header. So here, headers here, and then the value will be authorization. And then let me provide the value called bearer here. And then let me put something like that. So I'm talking and see that no authorization. So I can grab the, the token for this user. Let me look in again. I think I have the token back. So let me grab this 
token of this user here and sorry on the update let me provide us a header and then where am i is it this one is it puts yeah this one let me update oh sorry i'm inside the users inside the book rather so let me provide the actual token here so let me provide here and then send and have it back so everything is working perfectly so guys this is how we update our book 